Good morning from Pennsylvania. Uh, yesterday, this is kitty cat went up a big tree and we thought she would come down but she was still up there this morning so stay tuned. walk in hugs in China and there is a tree service guy come in to I think climb the tree or use some sort of boom truck to get the cat out so we're just waiting on him he should be here soon come on Evita come on cheeky Evita just a little update on the kitty cat. Uh, the fire department told her to call 911, so she called 911. They said they won't come for a cat in the tree. And so she did call a tree service guy who came out. Um, he has a truck with like a bucket on it, but he can't get it up to that tree because of the camper that's there. So he was thinking of he could possibly climb the tree with spikes. So they got the approval to do that. But then when he saw the tree, he said there's a part of it that looks like it's dead and he doesn't want to climb the tree. So the cat is still up there and he says the cat won't come down. He said they'll stay up there for days. And so, the, his option was to cut the tree down and then the cat has like a 50% chance of um, surviving or coming down feet first or whatever you want to call it. So she's looking to be a little antsy today so we're hoping she tries to come down. Um, she's moving around up there so we will keep you updated. Um, Gabby ran off too, but she came back. That's one of her, the You're bigger dog. Yeah. And Hugs and China, they're just hanging out right here. I think, is Gabby and Snuggles out here too, or no? Yeah. Oh, they're on the other side of the... All right, let's see if I can zoom in and see Kitty Kitty. That's as far as my camera's going to... What are you going to do? Do tell us. I'm going to rescue my cat. Yeah, the cat's still up in the tree. It's been up there for two nights. and We went over there to check on her this morning. She's meowing like a crazy cat. And I think she has come down a little bit. It looks to me she's in a different place. But it's really hard to tell. So we've called tree services. We've called animal rescue. We've called the fire department. We've called everybody and nobody will come get this cat. So, my sister's decided to rent a cherry picker and climb up the tree to get the cat. So, we'll see how the day goes. She's just going to go in here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the blue box, when, you, when, when you're going to operate from the basket, you're going to kind of want to have that in that position. Okay. But to operate it from, operate it from the ground, Put it in the, the put it in the pink. Make sure this this button's out. That's just in, like an emergency stop. Okay. All right. Okay. She's got our cherry picker. 125 bucks. How fun can you have with a cherry picker? <laughs> she gets it for eight hours. I think after she gets the cat out of the tree, she's gonna start working on the top of her camper <laughs> just because she can. But yep, there it is following us home. I'm so excited. Nice. We're off to rescue the cat. Hopefully. There's the truck with the cherry picker. My other camera. I'm gonna zoom in on the kitty cat. Which is come down a little bit. She's right well, she, there she is. I didn't touch, we didn't touch it. That's the way it was.
as you can see, the whole campground came out to help, but they couldn't get the cherry picker to work. Big Danny had to go to work, so he wasn't there to help. Unfortunately, the people that owned the camper wanted to wait until one of the guys came home that they knew, and he couldn't figure it out. So, we're back to square one. The cat's still up in the tree. The people that own the camper said they can put a, we can put a piece of wood from the tree to the top of their camper and hopefully the cat will come down. And, um, anyway, we're off to Home Depot to get a piece of wood to put on the tree and the camper and we'll go from there. See you later. on the cat. It is now Tuesday. The cat's been up there since Saturday. Not coming down the board and she's a bit delirious now. I think she's dehydrated. Um, we did get a 38 foot ladder up there and what it was, we were able to touch her and one of the kids that live in the camper that she's under went up. We were able to touch her but not reach her enough to pull her down. We could grab her collar with a hook but she just then digs into the tree. You know she's scared and we put some food up there to sort of entice her a little bit lower and she came down and got a bite of ham but then went back up to this next ledge. So um and the cherry picker people a rental place got it working and they were going to bring it back but the problem is we don't think it's going to reach I mean the ladder's 38 feet the cherry picker only goes 35 feet and the camper is almost 40 foot long and we can only get halfway back so but I'll keep you updated I didn't do a lot of filming when we were down there today because we were holding sheets in case she fell out the tree so we could catch her it's it's just a big nightmare so just want it to all work out so we'll check back in with you later. I just wanted to update. Bye. <laughs> Kitty is home. No, we didn't even see you. You have made her day. Like my wife was so upset that the cat was stuck. As we have cats and she loves them. Oh, so did she come right down to you? I had to grab her. And I literally, because I knew she said they were going to start crawling, I just pulled her right out. So I, you were able to use the ladder that was no, up there? No, I climbed a tree. Oh. I was strapped in. And I held her like this, and I just stuck her right in. And oh. I zipped it up. Oh, my gosh. I, I wish you would have seen it. I didn't know where y'all were. No, I just came over here just now, yeah. and um, we were just I was just looking at my phone, but I have terrible service up here. And, uh, is that back window closed? Yeah. Yeah, give her some water. Water, and I've got food. Yeah. I gotta get a picture holding her. You did? No, I want to. Oh, definitely. I'd like to get that, too. You want what? He wants a picture of him holding her. Can you imagine? I, I water her. So what is this? Yeah, yeah, she yeah, was yeah, up yeah. there Saturday, so this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So... She's been up there three days and... The good thing is, she was weak, so she didn't have the energy to try to get going. Right. You know, because she started getting upset, and I I talked to her a little. I said, calm down, relax, it's okay. And then I got myself in position to where she couldn't see me, and I got the bag ready. And I just... I tried to rub her head a little, and she started getting a little bit weird, so I just... I, I went Grabbed right to her. her right. Actually, thank goodness she had her... Tat her collar. collar and the do about two inches sticking out and I grabbed her just like this like a pinch right. on the collar and I pulled her out and then I just used my fingers and got around her and I got her she shouldn't drink too much water right like a little probably not a ton yep. but let her drink for sure so then I I got around the tuff of her neck like a baby mama carries a little kitten right and I just lifted her right up from there and I had the sack strapped onto me 
Right. And I could use both hands. So I just stuffed her in the sack and I shifted my hips over and I tied her up and I lowered her to my hip. And I said, well, cat's in the bag. Cat's in hey. the bag. Hey, mister. Amita, you've got to say a big thank you to this oh, man. Yeah. All right, what do I push? Just the white button? Okay. Hey, let's okay, take, let's so let him together. have a picture. Ready? I love you. <laughs> yeah, let me do it. Joe, right? Joe. Awesome. Awesome. Thank Check you. them out. Make sure you like yeah, them. Yeah, they're good, I'm sure. Okay. She looks okay. She's gonna be kitty cat. I got all the doggies in here with me. Thanks for joining us today for our kitty cat adventure. Meltdown. And meltdown. And, and I love my sister more <laughs> than life. She had a meltdown with me and like I couldn't have done this. What if I wasn't here? Look at your little chin when it goes like that. Thing. Yeah, I'm really good at saying it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine, the cat's going to be fine, and then yeah. when the cat comes home, I have the breakdown I <laughs> because know. I'm How so glad. How adorable is she? And I've had an amount down for four days now. <laughs> it's been Every four days. Every day, like... <laughs> and I'm like, it's fine, it's Fuck fine. Like, and then when the cat comes home, I have the meltdown. But anyway, the cat's she's home. home. <laughs> she doesn't want to speak to me like it's my fault. Fault. <laughs> we'll take her to the vet if she needs to go. And we thank you for joining us today. And we'll be back soon with some happier videos. Because next thing we're going to do is your water inlet, right? I think so. We're going to have a day of rest, though. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.